Aristides Aquino will be drafted in 2011, and between then and 2018 in the minors, he'd do virtually nothing. However, what he'd achieve in 2019 was so impressive, it seemed like he could be the next new star in baseball. However, he's proven he is far from a star and has slowly regressed to his lowest point ever. And now, will he ever be able to get back to a major league level? This is Baseball Break. The Reds drafted Aquino all the way back in 2011. In the minors, in his first two seasons in 125 games, he would post a 576 OPS in his first season and a 557 OPS in his second. He was proving to be a player that looked like he'd never make it to the MLB. Players that put up these types of numbers in rookie ball very rarely make it to the MLB. And in 2013, things would, however, change a little bit. He'd start to see notable stat changes as his OPS would rise to 759. In 2014, while he'd still be in rookie ball, he'd have a very dominant 919 OPS in 71 games and prove he needed another challenge. In 2015, after just 13 games, he'd be called up to A ball where he'd spend two seasons in. In his first season there, things would be rough as he'd hit 234 with a 645 OPS and just three homers. And hopes of ever making the major league team were still low. However, in 2016, he'd find a sense of power he never had before. He hit 23 homers in 125 games and owned a solid 846 OPS. This would be enough to get him up to double A in 2017, where he would again struggle his first season. In 131 games, he could put up only 17 homers while hitting just 216. In 2018, his numbers were okay, still in double A. However, he'd get a shot in 2019 in triple A. In just 78 games there, he'd hit 28 home runs with 53 RBIs, giving the Reds no choice but to call him up to the majors. Outside of one at bat in 2018, this was his first big shot in the majors. And he would certainly not let it go to waste, as in 2019, he'd go on an absolute tear and hit 19 homers with 47 RBIs and an 891 OPS. Unfortunately, he would not finish anywhere close to the top of the Rookie of the Year polls, given he only played 56 games. However, he'd get a lot of recognition and 2020 would be a very hyped season. You could blame it on the COVID shortened season at the time, but it was very underwhelming as in 23 games, he would have a 623 OPS and a 63 OPS plus. However, in 2021, he would prove he really is not that great of a player, posting a 707 OPS while barely playing half the games. Hopes were low for Aquino in 2022, however, he would go even lower. With a 39 OPS and just three homers in 31 games, the Reds would option him. You may think his story ends here, however, it may not. Since going back to minor leagues, he has been very good with an 1121 OPS in 14 games. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.